Hi, my name is John Ng. Many of you have been asking, how does the allergy symptom removal process work? Do you just zap someone with, with a tool or something? Well, before I answer that question, I hope you don't mind my sharing my story with you. I too suffer from allergies. Mine were mostly environmental. Along came spring and there was tissue paper in hand with my nose running, eyes watering, and sneezing. This lasted for two months. I'll say it again, two months before the symptoms would subside. I remember that I couldn't even go outside because my symptoms were that bad. I tried popping the pills. There were so many I can't begin to name them all. But to no avail, the allergies would keep coming back. I swear that springtime was the worst time of the year. It was so bad that in winter months I was already thinking about the allergy season that was fast approaching us. Now, as I said, I suffer from mostly environmental allergies, but there are a whole lot of you out there that suffer from other ailments, such as bloating, constipation, diarrhea, asthma, migraines, arthritis, ulcers, obesity, fatigue, irritability, body aching, and these are only a subset of what allergies can cause. Before I knew what the definition of an allergy really was, I was clueless as to its many causes. You see, that is what a general public knows, which is basically nothing as to what an allergy is. Many common health problems, such as those mentioned earlier, are actually allergy symptoms. Let me put another thought out there. Imagine going for a car ride with two-year-old Laura, whom you haven't had time to feed before you left. So instead, you're feeding Laura in the car just so that you would be arriving on time. You give her that whole wheat sandwich and everything's hunky-dory. You arrive at your destination, say hi, and before you know it, it's time to leave. The next day passes and we're officially on the third day when you notice that Laura hasn't done number two yet. Hmm, thinking to yourself, not putting two and two together, that was probably that whole wheat sandwich that caused this. And the next time you feed Laura the same sandwich again, the same thing happens. We've heard that kind of story before, and although it's non-life-threatening, it makes it easy for parents to ignore. But what about Laura? The poor girl has to endure this kind of sandwich for many years to come with the same reaction every time. A traditional allergist, one who performs a scratch test on you or your child, may determine what you are allergic to. This is done by scratching the surface of the skin with the offending allergen. If the scratch mark shows up red or inflamed, then you do have an allergy to the substance. There are risks involved with this kind of testing, such as an allergic reaction or worse yet, an anaphylactic reaction to the substance. So what then? Well, that's it. They can test for allergies, but relief from them? Well, for the most part, the choices would be antihistamines or allergy shots or even an EpiPen. In the next section of this video, we will describe to you the four-step process it takes to alleviate your allergy symptoms. It doesn't matter what it is that you're allergic to. We're so confident in the process that we're willing to guarantee the results. Step one, the testing. Using a sophisticated computer system, we're able to test you for an infinite number of items. The information or fingerprints of each item is digitally stored on this computer system. By attaching clips to both hands, the computer is able to send the information about each item to your body. It then records your body's responses and we print the results. Next is on to step two. Step two, verification. Based on the results we've obtained from step one, we select from the computer the items to rebalance. After all items have been selected, we imprint a glass vial filled with water and alcohol with all of the items. With this vial, we are able to confirm your body's sensitivity to items via a simple muscle test. By putting the test vial, let's say it contains pollens, up against your arm, and then holding your ring finger and thumb together tightly, we will test your allergic reaction to the substance contained in the test vial, and we will try to separate your finger and thumb. If they do separate, then you do have an issue with the substance, otherwise you do not. It's that simple. Step three, the elimination. Connected to the computer is a special laser pen. We use this laser to transmit the information 
or fingerprints of each item to your body using various acupuncture points. Note that there is no penetration of the skin by our laser. It is a painless procedure and is even safe for children. Also note that your body is doing the rebalancing. We're just the facilitator, helping to get things started and your body does the rest. The entire process takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Once completed, we go to step four. Step four, the confirmation. In this step, we repeat step two. Using the muscle test, your body should now test strong during the retest. And that's it. The entire process for new clients runs around one and a half to two hours. Returning clients are often 30 to 45 minutes. Now that you have the information, what are you planning to do about it? The average person has 40 different allergy symptoms without even being aware of it. But now I've given you some indication of what may constitute an allergy reaction. Perhaps I've done my job. However, if you want to go one step further and you want to rebalance yourself and alleviate your allergy symptoms, you can always find our phone number at the top right corner of the window. And you're welcome to book a free initial one hour assessment with us. Thank you for your time and we look forward to serving you in the future.